But Houston, though, was a perfect fit for me, man. It was, you think, but they needed a three. I was a three. I, I could, you know, play off a dream. If you duck dream and he didn't block the shot, I was blocking the shot on the other mm -hmm. side. And then you had Vernon, one of the best perimeter defenders in the game. Oh. You know, and it was just it was just a great fit, and we just needed the bench pieces. Then we got Mario Ellie and Sam Cassell the following year, you know, so that that put us over the top. And I know we always talk about this, you know, about who would have won in '94, '95 if MJ wouldn't left. <laughs> but you know, people don't realize how good Dream was and how how competitive yeah. Vernon Maxwell was. Mm -hmm. Why not? I mean, Kenny said y'all would have handled him. Yep. And, yeah. you know, w w what was your thoughts? Obviously, you know, you have an understanding and you won a lot. Yeah. Uh, those are some tough Bulls teams, but y'all was tough too. So. Uh, yeah. yeah, we were tough. But his, his, this is why I know we would have won it because I played Sons. for Phil. And I go back to this 2006 season. No, two, I'm sorry, 2004 season where we planned... We he we were playing um, San Antonio and I had to guard Tim. Tim gave me 36 a night. I'm begging for some man, y'all give me a fucking double team, cause Tim started facing me up and doing stuff that I had never seen before. I said I need a double team. <laughs> and Phil was like, we know and one man won't beat us. I'd be damned if he won't one man beat us. He's yeah. killing me right now. Yeah. You know, and and so he double team. I said, and with that same mentality, I know it wouldn't have changed with dream. Dream. Mm -hmm. with and you you think about this. I I and I'm looking back at everybody that they had on that Bulls team. I know I'm a better defender than all them dudes. Mm -hmm. And I know Dream is better than, than, than Tim. So they wouldn't have been able to stop Dream. They said, okay. And I, and I feel like when I, the young Rob would have been competitive enough to stop Scotty. Mm -hmm. And so I figured mm -hmm. that's why we would have won it. And then you got, you know, everybody said, well, what about the you know, black Jesus? I mean, MJ, look at the way Vernon played. I'm telling you. Vernon didn't back down from nobody. Vernon back I'm telling you. <laughs> watch Vernon play. Vernon would give you 30 to 40. One of the craziest athletes you would ever see play this mm -hmm. game. But because of his craziness being Mad Max, people don't talk about it or how even do what he, really he did or how good he was. Facts. We you had got, a good team, man. Yeah. Facts. You got any crazy? I, I, I'm a huge fan of Matt. We had a story. That's of, the homie. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you our story. So we were in Houston one time with the Warriors with Nelly, mm -hmm. and somehow he found out we were gonna have shoot around there. So we got there. He had like a full hour workout. Like Nelly, look at me. You know, you need a ten day. Like <laughs> everyone was both full Seriously? sweat. I promise you. <laughs> no, no. We had first walked in there. Like somehow he found out where we were practicing that. So he had got in no there gas. an hour before. Had a full workout. Talking about a ten day. Nelly, what's up? Ten day. Like this is what? Oh seven. Yeah, that was the We Believe season, right? That was the right? We Believe season. That Unbelievable. And I, and, and I had to kind of look around like, is he serious? And people were like, no, he's serious. He's dead, dead ass serious. serious. Like, he was... He and he wanted, looked good, though. Looked great. He looked great. <laughs> looked great. Shit. Hey. He looked great. You, when you talk about freaking bodies, his body is just... He was just ripped for no reason. Didn't really work out, yeah. but just was ripped. And he could just stay up all night, drink, smoke all night. That mother gonna come out and come go for 40. Yeah. His favorite thing was if you come to LA and play, he loved playing in LA. That mother would hit a jumper and find out where the chili, you know, this is when the chili used to sit on the side. That mother would fall and push herself back into the chilies, look at him, prettiest white teeth, smile at him. I'm fucking him up tonight, baby. And get back out there. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> he was, man. Bird was just, man. He was funny, man. Uh, he he was hey, fucking him up tonight. I'm telling you, man, that dude was uh, a crazy competitor, great crazy. athlete. And he was just, man, you had to be there. Another time, I mean, we had this instance. We were playing, you know, how sometimes you have shoot around. Guys leave. We still shooting around. All of a sudden, our strength and conditioning coach comes running out like, yo, man, I need some fucking help. Vernon going fucking crazy. So we run in there, and Vernon and Carl Herrera both have weights in their hand. Them motherfuckers just boom, boom, hitting each other with the weights. And they like, help. He's like, I be damn, I'm not about to get hit with a fucking weight. And so them motherfuckers fought till they got tired. And then the next day, they hugged it out. You know, and if you ever see Carl, Carl Carl's Schoen, a big dude. Yeah, Carl Schoto came out place. Vernon was the first person. Like, I got this, this is my boy. He would help him to the back. And then three weeks later, the motherfuckers fighting again. And it was just the craziest relationship. But those two loved each other. And, and that that was just a competitive nation of Vernon, boy. It was, it's a lot of stories. Even though the time when I had to go save him in the stands. I yeah, I remember, yeah, I remember in the stands. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah first he time. walked straight up. <laughs> <laughs> it was what happened. Break this. So for those who didn't see it, so we I we play in Portland. Portland's kicking our ass, right? You know, I'm sitting, I'm pissed because you know when you have a good game and you lose and you feel even worse. So I'm sitting at the end of the bench, and all I hear is, "Yo, Vernon, who's that bitch on your arm?" Vernon says, "What?" And I'm at the end of the bench because I had just got subbed out. So Vernon jets by me, 
And I looked this way. I'm like, oh, shit, he going in the stands. <laughs> so I run up in the stands. It was two dudes. One dude jumps up. Vernon pushes him down, and he gets ready to swing on a dude. The other dude jumps up, and I'm like, I'm getting ready to grab him. He looks at me and sticks back down like, yeah, motherfucker. I'm like this. I'm like, yeah, I'm swole, right? And I look behind <laughs> me. It's Otis Thorpe, and I strength and conditioning. Oh, yeah, you <laughs> so good. Like, you good. Real quick, like, <laughs> and then they, and the guy, he never hit the guy. He just pushed the guy down and said, what the fuck you say? Say it again. And the guy was like, oh. You know how everybody is. They talk mm -hmm. trash until they, you know. Until Jack had to take it to the next level? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where, where were you when I went this day? I needed you then. I needed you then. Come grab me. Yeah. Hey, any... Three million dollars later. Did, did, did uh, Dream Smack... Uh, uh, <laughs> was that true or was that, that rumor? That's that's the truth, but I had I got there the season after okay, that. Okay, so you weren't there for that. Okay, we'll leave it. Yeah. yeah, but Vernon, I'll tell you the story how, you know, Dream... You know, people are... I'm, you remember... Um, Dream Smack too. Vernon. Vernon. Oh, so <laughs> you remember Randy? Uh, what's Randy? I can't think of Randy's name. He used to play for the Clippers. Randy Livingston? No, no, no. He I, uh, another Randy. I can't think of his name. But we were playing the Clippers, and I think it was Randy. But you know, everybody was scared of Ken. Was it Ken Norman? Ken Norman? Norman. Everybody was scared of Ken Norman, right? You know, he was like that for enforcer nobody would fuck with. So we walking off the court, and Randy's talking shit to Dream, and then he pushes Dream. Dream hit him with a two piece, boop up, real quick. And then he goes, runs to get Ken. Ken's like, who hit you? Dream. Ah, oh, fuck that. Because they know <laughs> nobody would fuck with Dream. Because people would realize Dream had those hands. If you go back before Dream really deep dive into his religion, that mug fought every time he could. Mm -hmm. It was a 25 to $50 fine. Mm. He didn't give a shit. He would knock you out in a second. So I think the, the old dream kind of came out because when you push someone, you kind of lose it sometimes. Yeah. He, he ran it with that two-piece real quick. Boop, boop. He's like, I'm going to get my big brother. And big brother saw who it was. So no problems. And, 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 and it's crazy you say that because he the best person in the world. Like He the best dude in the world, Dream. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, best he is. Best person in the world. Oh.